What's up guys? I'm Chris and today you're watching a magic review on Lion's Ring by TCC and Hector Lion. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment on any questions that you may have about the product I'm reviewing or anything that you'd like to see reviewed in the future. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss a review. What is Lion's Ring? Lion's Ring is a four piece linking ring set combined with the routine unlike any that I've seen before. One of these is your gimmick. One of these is your key ring. I'm not gonna say which one, but it's pretty unnoticeable. Lion's Ring allows you to perform very smooth visual links and unlinks in which the rings can be shown in full at any given time. Check out the demo on TCC's page or on YouTube. You'll see the routine and there is coverage when you're doing the move, as with any set of linking rings. However, after that move is done, you can show every part of the ring and there's nothing to be seen. Lion's Ring is $40 and you get a cardboard box, which has the tutorial link on it. You get a very nice and elegant looking carrying pouch that is similar to some of the other TCC products such as the color changing knives. And then inside you have your four rings. How is the quality of the lion's rings? They're extremely well made in the sense that the gimmick was precisely engineered to work as well as it does. Like I said, you are looking at one of the key rings. Now, <clears throat> these rings are not very thick. I'm not sure how durable they'll be. These are meant to be used in the routine that is explained on the tutorial or that you can see in the trailer. It's a very elegant and artful performance presentation routine. Um, and that's what you're going to want to use these rings for. I think the reason being behind the rings being more thin than a lot of rings, uh, a lot more flexible, is because they're designed to be used in a certain way. And the give, for lack of a better term, is what allows you to perform the move with the key ring so smoothly. So the quality is good, you just want to make sure that you're not abusing these rings or using them too rough because I don't think that they will withstand a lot of abuse. The tutorial is 34 minutes long. You're going to get an explanation on the ring and how it works. And then you're going to get Hector's routine that he's been using for years that's been kept a secret along with the method. Difficulty level on this is pretty standard to all your other linking rings. They're not something that you're going to pick up and perform right away. These do take practice as with any linking rings. There are moves to learn. However, the links and unlinks are a lot easier to do than I expected. They're very well covered, very well taught, and I don't think it will take long to get this down. The routine itself that's taught is a few phases long. It's a great routine. There's nothing too difficult about it. Angles. The angles with the lion's ring are better than most linking rings. You could be surrounded, you know, you're gonna have to do the move a little bit different in order to cover what's happening, but unlike other linking rings, people can be all around you because the rings are actually continuous all the way around. Setup and reset, there is none. There are no arts and crafts, this is ready to go out of the box. Can it be inspected? It can't be physically inspected or examined. Visually, you can display the rings very openly, up close, there's nothing to see in that sense. So visually inspected, yes. Physically inspected, no. Pocket space. This isn't a large set of rings. This will likely fit in a breast pocket. Um, not on the outside, though this ones will probably be too skinny, but on the inside of like a suit jacket, this should fit, as well as probably in a back pocket. It is wider. If you don't carry them in this, it is uh, the, it's a bit smaller, but these will, these will fit in the pocket for sure. Is it a worker? That's the nice thing about these rings is they are a close-up set. So these can be used pretty much in, in any 
close-up environment. This isn't maybe the best for stage or at a distance, but yeah, they can be performed in a walk-around setting or at a close-up show. So I would consider these to be a working set of rings, depending on where you're working or what you're doing. Who would use this? I think any magician who is interested or already performing the linking rings, this is a great set because it does allow you to do things that you can't with other sets. It may also give you ideas with existing sets that you have as well. Is it worth your money? It's $40 and I think that that is an affordable price for this set. I think it's a good price for this set and that it is worth your money because it allows you to do the things that you can't with other rings. I think you'll be happy with this. Pros and cons, very visual, better angles than with most sets. Easy to do, the routine's easy, the rings are easy to use. The cons or the negatives is just that they're not very thick. They can likely get bent out of shape if you drop them or handle them aggressively, or if you're doing certain moves that you do with other linking rings that could cause them to bend. They're not weak by any means, that's not going to cause them to bend, but I just mean, you know, if you're doing like a, a crash link or something like that, that could disfigure them. But again, I've done a few things with these rings. I've tried them out and mine are still in perfect condition. Maybe just over time, they could get bent out of shape. I'm not sure. That wraps up my review for Lion's Ring. I think that this is a set worth checking out. I think that uh, people will be pleasantly surprised with the method behind this. It is unique and this is a set that will allow you to perform linking rings in ways that maybe people haven't seen them before. So check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below and thanks for sticking around. We'll see you at the next video.